Ladies and gentlemen, you have just tuned in to the first episode of In Debt for a Pet. For every path you choose, there is another you must abandon. Usually forever, but not in this case. We're bringing back In Debt for a Pet. It's going to be a long journey. Why, you ask? Well, I'm going to max the account straight off. I have just over 100 million XP and over 150 total levels to go. My entire bank will be at risk when I get a pet on this account, but I'll also have a chance to double it. I hadn't used the Bank of Gilanor since 2020 and had a value of 125 mil. The first skill I'll be getting to 99 is mining. I had to get 88 to 99 mining and that was about 10 million XP. Welcome to my guide on how I did mining. First, I teleport to the desert, which is here. I've drawn that on a map for you. Once I got here, I turned my orbs off so that I don't accidentally start misclicking prayer whilst doing the three tick mining cycle that I do with herb and tar, as you can see in the media provided. Back in my day, you couldn't change your left click to drop. And now that means you can do it with one hand, which means you can have your hand on your tips and feathers are worth taking so that you can fletch whilst you mine as well. Even low level accounts can do this. There's a new tiara that's a water skin, so you don't have to carry loads of water skins with you. 90k an hour. There are other ways to get 99 mining non-strenuously, but I don't know if their jacket is compliant. Well, woodcutting was definitely the least strenuous skill I did. Didn't get a pet, but um, I had a very relaxing time cutting wood on my phone. The last time I maxed an account was in 2017, and let me tell you, in terms of accessibility, it's become so much easier. Anyway, I have a message from Jagex Limited. This video is sponsored by the Old School RuneScape team. The team are hard at work and they have a really cool roadmap to share with you today. Coming up on the 26th of July, we have the release of Desert Treasure 2. I had the privilege of playtesting the post-quest bosses and let me tell you, they are awesome. The four new bosses come with a bunch of rewards, including Virtus robes that bridge the gap between Arims and Ancestral, new best-in-slot rings that you upgrade from the Fremenic ones, and a new axe with a unique special attack mechanic. Save the date, 19th of August. Find out what's in store for the rest of Old School RuneScape at twitch.tv forward slash Old School RS for the Summer Summit. PKers have been begging for a Dead Man mode, and we're finally getting one in the form of Dead Man Apocalypse, which releases later this summer. For more info on everything Old School RuneScape, check the description for the links. And thank you so much for Old School RuneScape for sponsoring this in depth for a pet video. I got 99 woodcutting at Winter Todd, but I only got 95 fire making before I stopped doing fire making. I did 99 cooking whilst gaming on my main account. I did so much cooking XP and I didn't get the cooking pet. Maybe I'll get the fishing pet. I had to get 7 million fishing experience to finish 99, and I did 3 tick cut eating barbarian fishing, which I found to be very enjoyable. Rather strenuous at times, but no strain, no gain. To relieve some strain, I e dated various members of the community at Temporos. Aside from kittens, I didn't get any pets here. Here's the loot from 500. Temporos. Next up was Hunter, Agility and Thieving, and conveniently Jagex released a quest that gave XP in all three, so I did Secrets of the North. I splashed about 35 mil on smithing, and I did not get a smithing pet, but I got 99, and that was another buyable out of the way and done. 
Now I needed to make some money back so I decided to do that in the form of agility at Sepulchre and I made a lot of money but something got in the way. The Hallowed Sepulchre is a blast and it provides an amazing alternative to simply doing rooftops. I did a mix of both to be fair but Making 73 mil at Hallowed Sepulchre really bolstered the account's bank value. Unfortunately, the bank value was about to be at risk because I did in fact get a squirrel pet. Now I've had five of these on the way to 99 and four of them came before 80 agility in the previous edition of this series. Here's what happened when I got the pet. Oh, for goodness sake, I don't want it. I've been immediately greeted by a mysterious stranger who was to teleport me to the strange messenger that I put in the intro. Three unidentified players had banded together to come up with my challenges, and I was told to liquidate my entire bank and visit their messenger at the jewel arena once I had done that. Before I receive my do or die pet challenge, let's go over the rules. Everything of value must go, including a Vernic defender hilts that are unobtainable upon reversion. If I complete master and grandmaster combat achievements, I can permanently lock in the defender. This encourages me to do tricky challenges on a budget. Untradables that cannot be reverted and can be stored, I will store in my player and house this is stuff such as torso ghostly robes graceful outfits diary stuff so that i could do some clue scroll rebuilds things like that untradeable kits from raids will be kept but only the attachments the items will be sold these will be really difficult to get from scratch anyway so i doubt i'll be getting these anytime soon stored mini game points coffers inferno capes will all be spent gambled and redeemed now you can watch me execute this in real time myself some flippers so that i could lock in the dark claw that i got from scatizo i alked all my existing skill capes handed back in my sepulchre tools stored untradeable tradable seeds in the seed vault, received junk from Laren's keys, spent all my tockle on various weapons that I don't know what they do to this day, exchanged my marks of grace for amylase that I'll lob onto the GE. With everything of value sold and turned into cash or dropped, it was time to go to the jewel arena. Welcome to In Debt for a Pet. Your first pet challenge is akin to your max grind. You must catch 18,500 black chin chompers in the wilderness with your entire cash stack at risk in your inventory. 10% of this may be used for gear and supplies. You may not bank any of the chin chompers or gold pieces. If you make it to 99 Hunter unscathed, we will double your bank value. Well, I've bought some gear with my allocated 10%. I've got a door, which was most of it. A Serp Helm and a Varric Skirt. Gonna buy uh, Brimstone Boots and a Carol's Leather Top. Use a Glory instead of a Fury. It's about what I can afford. And then the two mil will have to go into supplies. You can actually get really tanky gear with not a lot of money. So I'm figuring this challenge should be quite easy to do, actually. Okay, there is 188 mil at risk here. Um, those plat tokens left in the bank are still of the 10% allocation for extra supplies if I need them. I'm feeling confident. Let's head to the wilderness. Ah, Hunter. RuneScape's most polarizing skill in my opinion. It's personally one of my favorites, but it could soon be my least favorite. I'm gonna need to be incredibly efficient to get the job done here without dying. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been such a simp for the use of plugins here, but they're pretty nice. It's nice to have tile markers and highlighters on so that you can click underneath the trap instead of on the trap if you're one tick trap resetting. Oh my god, I'm scared that this challenge is going to be a complete bore because I've not seen anyone in an entire hunter level. Okay, well I've spoken too soon, but the state of this guy, I think he's just going to give up. There's quite a lot of traffic coming in from the new wilderness bosses. Oh my god, this guy isn't absolute raid boss so far the only people interested in me seem to be these guys i mean he's risking a freaking ballista
Okay, 2.4k chins so far. I've only just scratched the surface. I've had a few raid bosses get on me, but not been chanced yet. This guy doesn't even know how much I'm risking, but I've just taken all my gear off so that he can do the wilderness diary. Mmm. 95 Hunter on old school RuneScape. I'm not using an ult currently to shoot down Chinchompers, and I'm getting just over 180k XP an hour, which is pretty decent. You're really scared IRL in it. I'll show you scared green hair man. Okay, I've errored. I, I actually, like, that is the most beefed out guy I've ever seen in my life. The, the TB uh, slash Entangler though just couldn't catch anything on me, so that's good. Oh, it's Dino. I've been PKing at early GMT time, so I've seen him run past a couple times, but he's not gone for me yet. About 40% into my goal, I encountered this guy. Oh god, I'm pretty lucky that was a half TB, not gonna lie. I am full TB'd here, and honestly, I don't know what to do. He's absolutely destroying me. I'm gonna try the old bait and switch, like pretend I'm talking to my clan, and see if he follows me into multi. It was at this moment that he knew he f Oh up. no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> it's Ogre. I failed. I've actually failed. I, I should have tried to tank him in singles. I don't know what I was thinking there. He's outplayed me. Guess we're rebuilding. I've given the challenge team the rest of my gear that I... Why have I been hand-egged? I, I dropped my skill capes and traded over the Serp Helm that I kept and the door. Um, so we're starting from zero and I'm going to start Thieve it. For God's sake! Well, it's rebuild one of the new series. I have to try and max with zero GP and I still have Prayer left as a buyable as well as Runecraft costs a bit of money. Uh, the rest of the skills that I can make money doing. So hopefully I make enough from those skills so that I can funnel it into Prayer. Prayer is going to cost about 27 mil. And I think 97 to 99 Hunter will make me about 30. All right, guys, I have a plan with this 1,200 GP, not the hand egg. We're going to get a Winter Todd set up with that gold. And I will fire make until a 200k bank. I've got some untradeable pyromancer pieces stored in the pool. The tombs of a mascot are ruining my seed prices. I'm being resourceful and using these swordfish I got as reward as food instead of wines. Bruv, that is huge. 24 burnt pages is like 80k. All right, I've made my first 100k and I'm going to spend it on a construction cape. The con cape gives me unlimited access to my POH, which means I can loot, restore and subdue the winter Todd efficiently. I got... <gasps> Full Pyromancer achieved at level 97 fire making. After a couple of hours of Winter Todd after buying my construction cape, I made 609 GP, which I would funnel into Hunter gear. I am physically and mentally drained as well as scarred, but I'm gonna go back to Black Chin Chompers. Yeah, I know. It's actually insane how far 500k stretches when it comes to buying defensive gear. Barrow's pieces are really cheap now, so rebuilding at Black Chins is gonna be a pretty easy feat. I mean, this time I can actually bank the Chin Chompers and sell them for GP that I need for prayer. So that's going to be really handy. All right, it's time to catch about 10,000 black chin chompers with this gear. Should be pretty easy. I'm already going to bank 103 of them. It's just too much money. I'm, I need to sell it and buy supplies, okay? With the release of BH2, these blighted potions are a pretty reasonable price again. All right, I've caught another 250. I'm going to be selling these for supplies once again. Uh, should already be able to afford supplies all the way to 99 now with this cash. When I was tired of hunting, I would click knight for gold piece and thief XP. I've been able to upgrade to a blessed spirit shield and a varic skirt doing so. I'm actually really going to miss hunter post 99. It'll be a valuable rebuild skill though, because I still don't have the pet. 2 million gold worth of black chins to sell here. I'm going to buy an amulet of fury with this GP and that will probably be the last of my upgrades. Why couldn't I have people attack me like this when I was doing the challenge? He's using a whip for God's sake. Well, unbelievably, I had absolutely no raid bosses come and attack me. 
for all of these chins but i have one level left to go i've sold 14 mil worth and i'm buying an anti-pk setup so i can kill some of the burgers okay well i've just done an entire hunter level without seeing anybody where like where was this silence when i was doing the challenge all right i sold my anti-pk gear probably for a loss and i'm able to buy some superior dragon bones here should be enough for 99 prayer depending on how much i get pk'd at the chaos altar of course another skill to complete in the wilderness but hopefully this is quiet i've been runecrafting some blood runes at zaya as well just to tide my cash stack over i'm actually locked outside the crafting guild can you get me please get me a brown apron please <sighs> all right i'm finally in the crafting guild and i have a lot of runecraft to do i have all the earth runes i need to do lava runes and get 99 runecraft now though so that's done a uh, little impling please give me something good oh, six snap seeds is good i'll take that thank you very much how much is that these days 200k all right 98 runecraft done just one level to go um i did a few bloods as well just because i was still shy of my prayer goal but we're going to move on to prayer soon okay it's possible i can afford to max my runescape account uh i'm going to do redwood logs as well i have a bit of extra cash so i'm going to burn those at the g for quicker xp uh got a few fire making levels left to go still obviously all of prayer we're making good progress and i'm nearly maxed well, I got 98 prayer, which got me to a combat level of 126, which is the highest combat level that you can achieve on old school RuneScape. I have decided prayer to be the skill that I will max the RuneScape account with. So we're going to leave at 98 and go back to RuneCraft. We're here with the god himself. Hello. And uh, he's going to scatter some ashes for me. Oh, he's teasing here me. Go. Let's do it to ashes. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this In Depth for a Pet video. It's good to bring the series back and I am so happy with the way that I was able to max the account. The God himself has maxed the RuneScape account. Thank you so much for watching the reboot of my series, guys. Next episode, we'll start rebuilding and trying to go for some of those combat achievement diaries, as well as trying to captain and compete in my RuneScape Clans bingo event. There's going to be so much to play for. I hope to see you soon. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and I don't know, leave a comment about how many people exist on Earth or something. I don't know what the meta Let is. Let me these know days. your favorite genre of cat and dog. Please tell me your favorite yogurt brand. Let me know your thoughts on sparkling water. What are your thoughts on lawnmowers? Do you play golf? Are sperm cramps a real thing? Just leave a comment. Who came to